recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Thank you. Okay, so we can. Uh, Let me check. See, parked. So I have entered only one line item. Still, system able to do it. Even the document um, holding also, right? System will allow you that one. So major difference is that parking and holding, and parking is used as a process means because one person prepares the document, another person is going to um, verify that and post it. So that is called that is used for the purpose, the main purpose of parking and holding is different. So parking is used for the purpose of workflow, something like workflow. Right, one uh, junior person prepares the document and senior person is going to accept and post the entry. But in case of holding, the purpose of holding is different. The purpose is that, so uh, you can temporarily keep certain documents on hold, only that is the purpose. Right, those are the minor differences. Next is reference documents. So recurrence documents are of two types again. And the recurring document, sample document. A recurring document is a document which recurs, the nature of document which recurs every every month. Before that I need to interrupt one time. One time. Yeah. You said the parking document takes uh, numbering from the original document series. Or document number range. Document number range. What if the parking do parked document is later on cancelled? Uh, it is not posted. I have already shown Can you that number be available for net. Already net I have shown you that. Or? Already yesterday we have seen that document number ten was deleted. But I told you that system will not take. After that, system has taken another number. You forgot that. That number will be lost forever. No, I missed that then. See here. Go to FB03. Document list. And execute. See, 9, 11, 12. What about 10? Okay. 10. 10 is not there. Okay. I want to see 10. Let me check. 11 is there. See, parked document which was deleted. Okay, okay. Right, this we have seen already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So next we are looking into the reference documents. So reference documents are nothing but the documents and there are two types. One is recurring document and sample document. And one more thing is also their account assignment model but of course that is not in use right now. And uh, recurring document is a document the nature of which recurs every month. For example, say office rent is there. Every month I have to post this document. And say I don't mind in posting same a document because office rent account data to bank but in some cases you may have to post an accounting entry same in say for example warehouse rent so when when warehouse bills are received what is the accounting entry if if fixed warehouse rent is there every month i have to pay say 50000 warehouse rent i have to pay like that i have 100 warehouses 100 warehouses mm -hmm. into per month each one is say 15000 per month so in such case, warehouse rent account data to that vendor account we have to credit. Right, the same entry we have to post. But instead of posting 100 entries every month, say whether whether that fellow sends me bill or not, I have to provide it. I have to uh, make provision for the rent to be paid. So in such case, is there any mechanism which creates the same document because 100 entries are there instead of because same party, same amount, right, same line items. Every month I am going to post that entry. In such case, if some mechanism is there which makes that entry automatically, right, that will be better. So that is the concept. So now that is called um, 
we have recurring document so because it recurs every month what we can do that but the thing is all 100 documents recurring documents should be created in the beginning of the year and we have to execute a small program so that system will post uh, that uh, entry unless it is going to be executed unless you are going to execute the program system will not post automatically means automatically if you give date something like uh, um, if you set alarm it uh, rings it, it will not post like that so it is a manual activity and you have to execute a small program then only those hundred entries will be posted in a fraction of a second right that is called uh, <coughs> recurring document sample document is there sample document is a document which is a uh, which is created as a template a sample and by taking that I can post any number of entries both of these things we'll see and uh, recurring document sample now document in order to create it first we need to have a number range x1 x2 we have to create x1 is for this one x2 is for this because when I'm going to create and keep the document the system will not post it unless you execute the program it will not post right so let us see creation of the document document entry reference documents recurring document right this is the recurring document you have to create but before we create I need to create number range for this so step number one is define number ranges so number range means what OBA7 not OBA7 uh, FBN1 we can use FBN1 document document number ranges documents in entry view define document number ranges for entry view our company code DRLB individuals uh, intervals click on interval so I have to use some different number range if you give 1 0 1 0 to 0 3 it will be posted so I don't want to post the recurring document when it is created when it is executed then only it will be posted for that purpose we need to use x1 when you give x1 system will not post it immediately right year 2013 so I'm taking some extreme number right something like say 25 lakhs Twenty-six This is used by recurring document, and uh, X two I am creating. Twenty-six one two. Twenty-seven lakhs. save it so once we create now whatever the recurring documents are there first before we execute the project before we start the project I mean before the commencement of the year right I am going to create those documents first once we create the document system will store those documents in the list of recurring documents let it be hundred documents a list of documents will be stored in recurring documents and then whenever I want I can recall the document and system will post every month every month it will be posted let us see how we are going to create it recurring document I need to create now say since we do not have warehouse rent and vendors etc vendors etc we'll see only in when we go to the accounts payable so that's why what I will do see office rent and where say office maintenance both the expenses will be paid every month so instead of paying manually right let me set it automatic recurring document see this is only an example I'm showing you but in real scenario we'll be using where say for example 100 warehouses are there so for all 100 warehouses we create create keep it and then we post it right so here we can set first run on so when the first run has to be posted say I'm taking 30 04 2013 so I'm taking with past date right April month is over already 
but in spite of that I want to show you how system works. Last run on 31st 03-2014 because every month I want to post interval in months right per month every two months like that let us take per month so every month I want to post starting from 30th April to last one is 31st of March with 01 monthly means 12 months it will post run date schedule transfer amounts local currency this is not required document type I'm going to use document type SA that is GL document INR reference Christopher recurring document right this is only parameters now actual entry I need to create the entry is say office rent account data to uh, since vendors are not there I'll take bank posting key 40 right office rent say 400 301 is my office rent post uh, what is this one 0 4 2013 posting period is no longer around for start date first run let me OB 52 our posting period let me check whether it is open or not our posting period is DRPV see here 5 and 5 let me make it open 12 right first one is in the past yes say amount I am taking some different amount to identify right here in uh, real time scenarios I think it's not much easy uh, to change all these uh, posting period dates see easy, uh, in real scenario end users will not be allowed to go into SPRO at all right real scenario no one can enter into SPRO except the users uh, say except the consultants no one can enter. But it will not be given authorization. But if the end user want uh, it to be posted, no, if end user want to be posted in the uh, past days, then he will uh, request the consultant. The, right? Yeah, there is a process for that. First of all, he has to ask his superior, the finance manager or so. Say, I want to post uh, in the uh, old date. Then they will verify whether it is really required or not. If it is really required, then they will raise a uh, request to the uh, consulting team through the uh, that uh, AMC there will be there will be a tool in the tool it will be recorded and as soon as that is uh, raise that request that will come to the FSO consultant then first he will make the change in the development client then it will be tested once it is tested and then that will be sent to the basis consultant that request will be moved and after moving the request then it is approved then only people can use it. There's a lot of process here. We are just then, like then that. Again, we are doing it again. Uh, he will change back to the same uh, current dates. The posting date. Yeah, posting date. Uh, so so once the job is done, once the document is created, and if it is done, then again no need to be open for be, all no, the time, right? be Because that again. is affect for that is affected for all the documents. It has to be closed. Only for this. And that too, yeah, in case good. if any old document they have to post something like that, right? So that will not be done in the uh, regular time, right? That will be done uh, after the business hours will take, maybe night mm -hmm. at 8.30, 9 o'clock. Once the all users are closed, we block everybody. Then we allow, we'll be in front of the phone, we'll make a phone. Must we have opened the 
um, posting period open, I mean this one, you post the entry and inform us immediately. So we'll send a mail and that fellow will post it, again they, he'll send the request, then we'll close it. That will be the process. Yeah, yeah that is it. Okay, right, right. right. Yeah, practically we do that. So this is the rent. Save it. See now it takes 25 lakhs, 25 lakhs one. It is not regular. See if you check the jail account, there will not be any entry. See here. Uh, FS 10 yen to see the jail account. Office rent 400. 301 is my office rent. Just now I have posted recurring entry for 9999. See, 9999, it is not there at all. Right in the first period. Right? So, but the document stores in the, I'll show you where that document stores. Now, again, I want to post one more. I want to post every month on 15th. Just to show you, I'm sure, I'm mean, creating this one. 15 4 2013 to 14 no, first one is on 30th of 4 G yes 03 2014 14 March 2014 right this is the last one I want to show you how system works for different dates mm -hmm. interval during the months take 01 document type SA yes, INR transaction date is today's date. Nothing wrong. 40. I am taking office maintenance. Office maintenance 400 303. First one in the past. So I am taking 8888. Test for 50 200 5 amount right okay post so here we have created recurring document right if you want to see the recurring document go to document reference documents recurring document change display right see document list see two documents 25 lakhs one 25 lakhs two like that any number of documents we can post here and if even if you want to make any change right I can make a change of this amount etc if I want to make change I can make because this is not yet posted it is only now storing in the recurring documents list it is not posted to GL right now I want to post every month right every month I want to post this document so generally in real scenario whatever the recurring documents entries are there maybe 50 or 100 or 200 whatever it may be right all those things we create just like this once we create now I want to post it so this is a period period end job so go to periodic processing Recurring entries F.14 execute. So every month one accountant will be given responsibility of execution of recurring entries. Right, company code. DRLB fiscal year 2013. And if you give document number system will execute only those document numbers if you don't give any number system executes all the recurring entries it will be posted so that's why if you want to post on a specific documents I have to give numbers from here to here right I need not give anything settlement period so settlement period what I can do is say 01 04 2013 
to 31st 03-2014. Just give the year, the range of the year. Batch input session name. So what I can do? I can give some batch input session name. So what system will do before posting? What are the number of entries that are there? It will prepare a batch and uh, the total batch entries will be posted at a single row. time. So for that we need to create one name. So what I am doing is uh, say for example um, so I'm giving just my name so to have a change I'm giving Anand N. Once I give this session Anand N was created. After that, we have to execute batch input session. So, execution of batch input session means system creates and keeps all the entries in one stack. Go to system, services, batch input sessions. Right? Go to system, services, batch input sessions. It will take us to T code SM35. SM35. See, my batch is there here. Select batch. Click on process. Right. See, created by user. But batch and possession name is this. Created by me at so and so date. Right. Select this. Click on process. Here we have two options. One is process foreground. Display errors only background process. So mainly process foreground, process background. If I select process background, system post the entries in a fraction of a second and it will show us. I will execute both and show you. Right, background, process. finish. Entries are posted. Go to FS10 and see. See, office rent, nothing is there now. Come out. See, first month amount is there. So in the month of April, system has posted the entry. 9,999. Which date? 30th 4. You see, test of all recurring. Three not three. Eight thousand eight eighty eight. Post down fifteen four. So first month both the entries posted. Let me execute second time. Here I need not tell to the system I need not give any date. But here you give this, that's all document type posting date if you want to specifically give you can give otherwise not required even I don't give batch input session name let us see what happens session SAPF 120 was created so there is a session name system by default it creates right I can go system batch input sessions or straight away I can go to SM35 See SAP of 120 created by me. So if you create with you with your name, you can identify because simultaneously if people are working on the screen and uh, <coughs> so that you'll not miss it. Otherwise you don't know. If you have of course user ID you can identify. Process. I'll show you foreground how it works. Let us see. Click on process. As soon as I click on process see it will go to the FBD5 and it will start posting the preparing the document yeah so I think uh, now you are able to hear me 
Yes. Yeah. Right. So system C on 35. The first one is 34. Now it is 35. Next one, 36. My accounting entry. Press enter. Next one is in the past. No worries. So first one is over. Second entry, 15.5. During this process, if you want to give business area, I can give business area. Processing of batch and possession completed. Come back. Go to again. FS ten L four hundred three not three. See second month posted. Like that every month system will post automatically. It it may be one entry or one hundred entries. Same process. It will post in the fraction of a second like this. But we need to execute it. We cannot leave it to a system like that. Any doubt on this? Here we have one more uh, concept. Yeah. I am bummed out. I have a, why do you say that is that the x1, x2, the number in which you gave was default for the recurring the sample document or? See, or x1, work? x2 are the documents to create recurring document and sample document. Recurring mm -hmm. document takes x1 number range, sample document yeah. takes x, x2 number range. Because yeah. why we have given x1, x2? I don't want the system to post into the GL immediately when I create. Okay, I understood that, but we, we never specified the x1 and x2 anywhere, right? Huh? We never specified. Where do you assign that? Where do you yeah, assign where did you assign? We did not assign anywhere. Uh, so, you have to check it or it's a default? No, we need not assign because, okay. uh, see here, document types. There is already system defined. That's what I am asking. It's a default See here. Then. I'll show you. X1, recurring entry to document. X2, sample document. Mm -hmm. So the default so the system will automatically take it. We need not assign it. We need not assign it. See, here we okay. are not assigning document type anywhere we have not assigned. Okay. But here it is taking 91, but don't go by with this. Okay. Right. And uh, X1, X2. So though oh, the system has default values there, so it is taken automatically from here. Right? So no need yes. to assign uh, separately again. No need to assign. No, but even if you take any other new names, if you take any other new names other than X1, X2, then we have to assign? No. Uh, system will not accept anything other than X1, X2. Then we have to create again. We have to create okay. document type also you have to create. And uh, see that is standard defined. Right, when it is there, better we take only those things. In the same uh, area, uh, different document types of uh, entry, you can please click again. There. Again, I think we can create a new entries by Y1, Y2 also if you want. You and can that do that. You can again uh, maintain this, right? Uh, yes, you can. Do one thing. You try and tomorrow tell me. Right? Yeah, sure. Right, yeah. right, right. Okay. And, uh, yeah. So next one is 
recurring document sample document so sample document is a document which is created as a sample and kept in the system whenever i want i can recall it and i can use the same say for example some accounting entries are there say half dozen debit entries half dozen credit entries right and in such case let me create few more gls fs00 account group my personal expenses office employee salaries 400101 pindal account Just I'm creating one more. only to create more number that's all nothing more than that so all expenses relating to the employees are created here staff welfare expenses also we can create here right so now i want to post uh, one entry sample document let me create reference document sample document say with uh, three line items debit and three credit something like that if i have that kind of document i can prepare it as sample document and i can change it now see f dash 01 here i am creating one sample document 40 say 400 101 staff salaries since this is a sample document i'm taking only 100, 100 rupees sample document posting key 50 200 405 save it Similarly, I want to create one more. Wages. I'll do one thing. I'll create a multi-line item. Forty. 
400 101 100 rupees and again 40 400 102 100 rupees again 400 103 50 bank account see my entry is this staff salaries officers uh, salaries wages to of uh, access bank so this is the every okay every month i have to post this this entry see instead of creating every month i can save it as a sample document i can recall it i can call this document i can post it let me see how Just it will be done credits are not same it won't throw any error it will throw error definitely i forgot to change no, no. Uh, I'm checking whether you are observing or not. Sir. <laughs> 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 to, to cover my mistake. Uh. Right. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so very good. You are in alert mode. That's that's good. Let us go ahead. Save yes, it. Walk up. 26 lakhs two, right? Everywhere, if there is a small mistake, system will throw error, no doubt about it. So, <coughs> so that's why automatically we'll adjust ourselves. So now similarly, we want to see, see, again, difference documents. You can go here. You can check sample documents. Right, you can change again display. So what are the sample documents you keep? All the sample documents are stored in the sample documents list. Two documents are there. Whenever I want, I can recall and I can post. Now, this is only stored in the list. Now, it is not posted to the GL account. Right, if you want confirmation, I will show you. Go to FS. Tenyan, where we can see the GL account. Hey, if you have GL account, sorry, T codes on your fingertips, it will be easy for you. No data available. Till now we have not posted anything. But sample data created, see so system has not posted anything. Because we have taken the number range with X1 and X2. Right, like this. Now I want to post by calling this document. Go to F-02. With today's date I want to post. How many I want to say? Post with reference. Post with reference. Click on Post with reference. Say twenty six lakhs two. Twenty six lakhs two. With this document, I want to post. Press enter. Change the document type to SA because when we created. It was showing AB. Right after that, press enter. See, system will show you this. Now, what I need to do? Just double click on this, change the amount. Officer salaries. Two lakh fifty thousand. 
wages say seventy five thousand right then star put a star here shift star four lakh eighty one thousand right so this is a counting entry so instead of taking all these things my time will be saved only i'll be changing the amount that's all nothing more than that and okay narration also i can change it or otherwise sometimes there may be complicated entries when you are setting the advance bills and other things you definitely will get some complicated entries and those can be half dozen debits half dozen credits right unnecessarily why should i bother uh, that's why i'll create one sample document like that and just recall the document change the amount post and of course change the narration also right now save it document number 18 was posted in company code drlb right so this is the concept of sample and recurring document so sample document you can create any number of sample documents every user creates and keeps some sample documents and you can recall it and post it there is one more in reference document there is one more concept also there see when you are posting dev-02 say i know document number 9 is seen post with reference go to say document number 9 i can give reference press enter enter uh i think siri you are not able to hear me yeah sometimes the voice is fading out acha for everybody it's like that oh no okay ah uh, manoj no no it is very rare cases very rare oh, very rare okay right 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 uh siri i think maybe your network may be small problem let me check because uh, okay anyhow if you have any problem let me know again right so i can i can recall the document i can post it right if i want to make any changes in the amount i can just double click say change the amount say 22000 and start post it so reference documents can be posted by recalling the document which you have created as a sample document or reference documents can be posted that is posting with reference we call it as right posting with reference any old document which you know that you know that the same entry again i am going to post i can just recall that document i can post it so that facility i do have right now recurring entry sample document and uh, posting entries management unblocking yeah posting with reference next is document reversal document reversal today what we have seen reference document recurring document sample document okay document reversal and uh, okay document reversal part we'll see in the next class because that needs some explanation etc let me show you one more topic fast data entry see fast data entry is a very simple concept see in f02 you are going to post by screen by screen you have to go instead what i can do when you have the fast data entry enter the date document number everything just click on fast data entry posting key 40 account 400 101 
again 40 say 400 102 40 Four hundred one not three one not four. If you have see so many entries like this, we can use fast data entry. Four hundred three not one again forty. Right. Four hundred three not two. Like this any number. Okay, in one screen you can do only in one screen all these things can be done only 12 entries next huh? any number of entries you can do it okay. so the table will go on as uh, up to 999 nine, 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 items excel. it will go I can create an, you can create an excel copy paste nothing can, can be done yeah, yeah, you can copy and paste what you have done, done for the account to be same way. Right. Then take 50. 200. 405. And put star here. Even business areas. You can take what are the business areas. Alright. And for here, say DRCH Chennai. Right? Cost center, order, company code, everything you can post like this. You may post only documents up to 5 lakhs. So here, okay, let me reduce 10. Input format. 1 lakh here one also I will reduce 1 0 Lot of discipline is required. Right now it will allow you. So, page down. Next item, bank. So, bank is showing in blue in color. The reason being, here, required entry is there, value date is there. Right, uh, that is 30-08-2013. Right, test for fast data entry. Right, hmm. then page up, so these are the line items, then save it. But here the disadvantage is that you do not have uh, space for the writing narration, the text part. If you want to do that, mm -hmm. you have to double click each line item, again enter. Mm -hmm. Right? So that is the... We cannot fast. modify the screen. We cannot modify. There is a facility, of course, that requires again a lot of configuration. But there is no space there uh, to adjust that. Right, very few fields can be added there. So fast data entry we have done. So next is posting of entries in foreign currency. Updating, sorry there is a mistake here, not undating, updating. Updating foreign currency, foreign exchange rates, blocking of a jail account and this one. In the next class we will see that. Right, these are all, everything is a, uh, everything is a small topics. But once we go to account receivable, the topics will be lengthy topics. Right?
Yes, right. Thank you. And when will be, uh, when will be the next class? So next class again Monday. Monday, right? Yeah. So, okay. So, so you need to have some time for practice, and um, spend some time on this. And I don't know whether you are reading the theory part or not. Read theory without forgetting. Right. The this theory, and wherever is required, prepare notes also. And apart from that, go to SAP library part and read the SAP library. Right. So in the configuration settings, you need to read some theory. So Where is the SAP library? library? Which is which is SAP library? Which one? You right. can just go to net and you can browse. Ah, this uh, SNCSAP dot com something like that. Right? Yeah. Right. SAP. library kcc6 no this one directly we can go go here from their financials accounting financial accounting right you can read see general ledger accounting General Ledger Accounting, FIGL. You will get a lot of information in this. Just go on clicking on these things, it will it'll show you. Right? Yeah. Right, right. Thank you. Right. Right then, have a nice, nice weekend. Enjoy. But don't forget to practice. Spend some time on SAP. Right? And, uh, yeah. okay, Anusha? And Hema? Uh, yes, yes, sure, Anand. Yeah, anything? Um, Monday, I might not join. I'm not sure, Anand, but I'll let you know if I'm not joining. I would require the